Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to be lining up the crankshaft with the counterbalance weights. All right, this is on a 2006 to 2012 uh, Toyota. This is basically the engine. This is a 2AZ FE 2.4 liter. So this engine is found in the Rad 4, the Matrix Camry, uh, some Scion models, Lexus, anything with a 2.4. Uh, 2A Zebra FE. All right. Now, the reason for this is because if you don't line these up when you're taking this engine apart, especially if you're taking the, the bottom cradle off or the counterbalances or you're replacing the crankshaft, uh, the cal counterbalances are uh, connected to the, the crankshaft. There's a big gear. Um, let me show you a scrap one here. All right, this is a crankshaft. You see this gear right here? This gear drives the counterbalance. So that has to be in line and it can't be off because you'll get a serious vibration when you put everything back together. So what you want to do, uh, especially if you take off the cap, all right, you have, you have a couple of marks here. You have big pinholes. You see them right there? You have a line on both sides like that, and you have dots like that. All right, so now the first thing you wanna do is put the, the uh, engine in top dead center, but now we're flipped over. So if you're doing this in the car, well, you can't do it in the car if you're doing replacing the crank. It's gonna be on a stand, but anyhow, this engine is flipped upside down right now. So anything I'm saying, if you're doing it on a stand this way, you really can't, but if you're doing it, so just note that this is top dead center, okay? You see the... Uh, the uh, keyway right here, this is pointing upside down. It's pointing at six o'clock, straight down. And how do you know that is on right over here, all right, on the left side, looking at the engine forward, upside down, there's a dot here that, that goes straight to this tooth here and that tooth there, and this little mark I made here. This is the block, this is the bearing cap. There's a seam here, right on that seam. That's where this line has to be. And that'll be six o'clock going straight down. Okay, that's six o'clock going straight down. The circle and the circle have to be like that. All right, you can see it's like a little bit off. Don't worry about that. The line over here has to mate with the um, the top of the cradle and the bar and the um, cam share the um, counterbalance casing and the seam here where it mounts. You see this seam? And the same thing on that side. So the line, they have to line up. These dots have to be like that. And these circles, indents over here, have to line up just like that. All right? That's exactly how you want it. All of those marks have to line up so you know that you have, uh, you're not going to have vibration and everything is lined up. All right? So again, you can just get an idea, you can stop the camera. This is exactly perfectly aligned. That's how it has to look with the engine upside down. And if this was right side up, that'll be 12 o'clock top dead center. All right, the pistons are on top dead center. And that's how you line up the 2A ZFE 2.4 counterbalance to crankshaft. Very important. All right, guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, you leave them below. I answer all my questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, everybody, for watching.